Hi everyone, it's Ben Crown here with a demonstration video for my FPL Transfer Planner spreadsheet. So this is what you'll receive when you request a copy of my spreadsheet. Your team will already be entered and your budget will be set up correctly. You get a page for your original team and then a page for your first wildcard team and your second wildcard team which starts in game week 20 and also the team ratings. Now these ratings are broken down into home and away for their offensive rankings and home and away for the defensive rankings. Each team is given a number between 1 and 7 and the numbers that are given here change the way the fixtures are formatted on these pages. So this version of the formatting calculates the difference between the two teams' ratings. So for example, when Liverpool play Arsenal, for Salah, you get the difference between Liverpool's home attacking rating and Arsenal's away defensive rating. And that makes it the second easiest fixture because Arsenal have a, a bad away defensive rating. But for Alexander-Arnold, his, his uh, formatting for this fixture is Liverpool's home defensive rating, which is 1, but Arsenal's away attacking rating is a 3, so that's a less easy fixture. There's a version of the spreadsheet where the tough fixtures are blue instead of red, if you're a bit colour blind to, to red and green. And there's also a simplified version of the formatting which you can select here which just um, formats it based on the opponent's uh, rating. So there's only seven different colours and all the easy teams are the same. But it doesn't matter which team is playing them. The, um, the ratings on this page my ratings are imported here and I'll update them every four weeks or so but you can choose to use your own ratings if you disagree with any of my ratings and then to do that you would just select custom here and then you get the option to fill in into these yellow squares ratings between 1 and 7 Okay, so you can use this spreadsheet. The main, the main thing is the transfer planning ability, but first of all, you can plan your captains and subs bench in each game week. So to do that, you look at the IDs in this row here, the, uh, this column here, and you enter those IDs into these boxes below the game week down here. So if you wanted to captain Sterling, this is my team in game week 3, and I think I would captain Sterling against Bournemouth, so I put his ID number, which is 9, into there, and then you get an underlined fixture there. And then I would bench button, obviously, which is ID 2, and Rico, which is ID 7, and Greenwood is 15, and then I'd choose between Dendonka, which is 12, and Lindstrom, I think I'd choose Dendonka. Okay, now you can also use the spreadsheet to plan transfers. To do that, you enter the game week in which you want to transfer the player out into this column here. So let's say I want to transfer out Sigurdsson in the next game week, in game week 4 put the 4 there and his fixtures become greyed out beyond game week 3 and so to get the, my new player I type in the 4 into the game week in column in an empty row down here so I type 4 into there I select the position which is a midfielder and now you can see all the midfielders listed by price in price order 
you can use you can type in say if you wanted a Man United player you could go MUN and see all the Man United players listed or if you wanted a player at a certain price point you could say 7.5 and see all the 7.5s or if you just did 7 point and then leave that blank you see all the players listed between 7.0 and 7.9 now I want Martial and you can just type in that and, and click on him when he appears and as you plan the transfer you can see that the projected in the budget um, figure is updated here so this cell shows you that you've gained 0.3 by making this transfer and so your budget would now be 1.2 so I'll just quickly plan the transfer in game week 5 so let's say I want to get Rashford for Jota so put a 5 next to Jota put a 5 there select a forward and I can just quickly type in Rashford's name and now it's telling me that I need to free up 0 0.9 in order to make this transfer so I'll plan another transfer plan to take a 4 point hit and I would do Salah down to Mane to free up this money you can see that these numbers here show you how many transfers you've got planned and when it's red it means you're taking taking a hit uh, it'll go a darker shade of red if you're taking more than one four point hit and it's grey with green writing when you're saving a transfer so if I were to get Mane here I would have 0.1 in the bank but the spreadsheet does update when prices change so first of all I'm going to show you how the spreadsheet updates when the game week changes so when we moved past game week 3 and the game week 4 dead deadline happens you'll see the game week 3 column is greyed out and the selling price for your game week 4 transfer is highlighted in yellow and so is the purchase price for your game week 4 transfer in so you need to follow these instructions when you actually make a transfer on the FPL website so say you've, you've just transferred Sigurdsson to Martial and you've sold Sigurdsson for 8 million you type in 8 manually you need to overwrite the formula that's here so you type in 8 then this row will be greyed out and then you bought Marshall for 7.7 .7. you type that in manually press return so you can then hide the row of the player that's been transferred out by right clicking and selecting hide row and then you can drag up the new player by clicking on the row number here and then when you see the hand symbol you hold the mouse down, the left mouse and you can drag him up to the correct place in your team and you can also reselect his name here so it just shows the player and the team now when I'll show you what happens with price changes so I've got while well, I'm waiting for this up to, to update I'll show you how to hide a column you can left click to hide column 3 you left click on this um, column title AK here and you select hide column now you can see that prices have changed now this will happen automatically to your spreadsheet whenever the prices change on the game and so for me 
in this simulation um, Rashford has risen he was 8.6 just before and now he's 8.7 you get these little red arrows when prices change now you don't need to update the, these um, the names in this column because the, the current price is updated automatically and the other price that's changed is Jota I bought him for 6.5 but he's just dropped to 6.4 and so that means that I can no longer afford this transfer that I have planned in uh, game week 5 so I would have to think about it and do something different um, what would I do let's say I decide if we look at we can look at the um, schedule down here and we can filter it so it just shows the attacking um, ratings attacking formatting so if I look for a, a different forward to Rashford who has a good good run of fixtures I could maybe get Haller from West Ham so I can just type his name in there and select him and now I've got plenty of money in the bank in fact I don't need to sell Salah to make that transfer to, to undo a transfer you just delete the player's name from the player team CP column here and you delete the game week in and the position to make it a clean row and then you can just delete for the transfer out you can just delete the um, the game week out number so now I have 0.2 in the bank is my projected budget if I just make this one transfer in game week 5 another thing that you can do is if you want to add a player to your spreadsheet but without it affecting your budget so for example you just want to add him to your watch list you select this I symbol in this extra column and then you can select the position let's say I want to keep an eye on Mendy or I want to add him to my sheet so that I remember him for next time and you can see his fixtures appear but it doesn't affect the budget this spreadsheet will also update when blank game weeks are confirmed and double game weeks so we've already had the blanks in game week 18 for Liverpool and West Ham you can see you get the blue formatting for the blank game weeks and I already know based on the schedule that game week 28 could be a blank because of the EFL Cup final game week 31 will definitely be a blank from the FA Cup quarterfinals and then game week 37 will definitely be a double game week which is the yellow formatting so when fixtures become blank your schedule will update when fixtures become double game weeks they'll update as well and you'll get the potential double game weeks and potential blanks and if the final thing to show is this in this extra column you can also select to wildcard if you plan on adding Salah to your wildcard team in game week in, in for the first wildcard um, you select WC in that column there and then when you go to your wildcard one page his name will already be entered here so let's say I want to plan a wildcard team in game week 6 you would just type in 6 into the wildcard game week up here and then it's grayed out for these first three game weeks and you can enter your team so you go to your original page and select the, the players that you want to keep from your current team and those will appear at the top there let's get a defender let's get Dean and Lundstram and that will import the purchase price and the, the player name 
into the top rows of the defender, midfielder, attacker. I don't know why I've selected Jota because I've already transferred him, trying to transfer him out in game week 5. So let's get Puki instead. And you can select players in the empty rows here. And it shows you your average player pr price remaining. This will update every time you select a new player. So if you were planning on wildcarding in game week 6, uh, back on your original page you probably only want to see the next two game weeks. So to do that you can just enter the number 2 into this show next game weeks box up here and everything else will be greyed out. Um, you can also edit the game week in which you want to free hit into this box here and that will be greyed out there. You'll see that on each page there's room for a further five extra transfer rows that are visible. But you can unhide loads more rows if you just click on these little arrows here and then there's 70 more rows. Um, and to hide them again you click on 83 down there then you hold down the shift key and click on the row that you want to hide from click hide rows um, if you leave your spreadsheet for like a few months and forget to update with your transfers that you've just entered then you can when you come back to it your sheet will be incorrect but you can fix it by entering the correct players from your current team to do that you'll first need to delete the purchase price then delete the player's name from there and then you can select a new player here um, make sure that the purchase prices are all the same and the players are all the same as they are on your on the FPL website on your team and then if the budget is incorrect after you've done this you can fix that by pressing yes here in the drop down box under fixed budget and entering the amount that you need to fix your budget by it could be 0 0.5 or it could be minus 0 0.3 and that will change um, there's a link to the instructions document on this links and announcements page so you can go to that anytime and there's a more detailed instructions here including something I haven't talked about which is how to confirm your wildcard team and making transfers while your wildcard is active um, this spreadsheet is a Google sheet um, it's an online document um, if you try and download it to Excel it won't work anymore because the schedule the formulas that import the schedule and the playlist will no longer work. Um, but all the changes that you make will automatically save. So if you close it down and open it, open it again, it'll be as it was when you last used it. Um, I will have access to your spreadsheet, so it's not so I can copy your plans. It's just so I can fix it if something goes wrong. If you make an error or break it, you should never edit a cell with a formula in um, unless it's the p purchase price when you buy a player or the selling price when you sell a player you should never delete a row or a column you can as I showed you before hide them when they're in the past or when the players left your team I think that's everything so thanks for watching if you'd like to purchase a copy from me you can find details of that in the description um, and you can also you can get a free copy if you're a member at fantasy football hub 
um, and there'll be info on that in the description as well. Um, the pricing for the spreadsheet from buying it from me directly will depend on the how far through the season we are. Um, I hope you'll find it helpful if you get a copy. Um, it should help you to make, see your plans a lot more cl clearly. Um, it helped me last season using my own copy. Um, again, thanks for watching and uh, good luck this season.